I had recorded and edited a full video describing products that you should invest in to improve your D&D gaming experience. But unfortunately, some of those were official Wizards of the Coast products. And due to the company's recent betrayal of the D&D community as a whole, I decided it was best not to post that video. If you don't know what betrayal I'm talking about, I will link to some videos by other creators who have been doing an excellent job of covering the topic. Many people are starting to abandon D&D to other systems, which I understand. A lot of systems are actually just better than D&D, especially depending on the kind of playstyle you want to have. My own home table is starting to do the same thing, even as we start to finish out our current D&D campaign. But do not feel like you have to abandon D&D. Remember that Dungeons & Dragons itself is not evil. The companies that own it certainly seem to be, but that does not mean you can't play and enjoy the game if that's what you like to do. And it's important to remember that some of the creators who make their living doing D&D third-party content, many of the creators that we're trying to protect are hurt as well if we all abandon D&D completely. So in that spirit, assuming you still want to play D&D, this video is to tell you some products that you should not buy and some alternatives you can get instead. First, we have D&D Beyond. The website was acquired by Wizards of the Coast back in April for over $146 million. The website provides a variety of tools and resources for playing D&D and comes with subscription options. These allow for unlimited access to encounter tools, character creation, and the sharing of homebrew, among other features. You do not need to pay a recurring subscription to get pretty much any of this. If you need a good encounter builder, there are many great ones online for free. Cobalt Fight Club has a very user-friendly and robust option that interfaces with an initiative tracker, another website called aidd.org, I don't know if that's how it's pronounced, but that's what I'm going to say, is also a super easy and highly versatile encounter builder that has nearly every monster in the game, and even includes a loot generator for each encounter. If you want an accessible character builder, look no further than fastcharacter.com. It has a simple fill-in-the-blank method for getting your character started, and any basic info you omit will be randomly generated. The final result can take many formats, depending on your preference, but it is easy to use and looks pretty damn good as as well. And for sharing homebrew, you don't need to pay a subscription just to share stuff. There are countless websites, forums, subreddits, all dedicated to just that. Second, we have books, specifically official D&D books. The only book that pretty much anyone really needs is the Player's Handbook. If you don't mind reading from a screen, there are full PDFs of the Player's Handbook online for free, and this applies to most of the official source books as well. But if you're like me and you like to have a physical book in hand, then buy used. Go to used bookstores, look on eBay or Facebook Marketplace. Just don't buy these books from retailers online or otherwise. When you do, about half or more goes to Wizards of the Coast directly, and kind of the goal right now is to not do that. If there's a certain bookstore or game store you want to support, please keep supporting that. Go buy a different game system, buy some dice, some minis, whatever it may be. Just don't buy one of these books new. But if you want a book that gives you a lot of monsters to use in your game or some guidance on running dungeons or encounters or NPCs, there are so many great third-party books out there. Cobalt Press's Tome of Beasts is my favorite for monsters. It's a huge book, and every monster in here is super unique, really well thought out, and all around are some of the most interesting creatures I've put into a game. If you want guidance for dungeon creation, look no further than the Game Master's book of Traps, Puzzles, and Dungeons. Or the same author also does a book on random encounters. These third-party books are so successful because they are just better than the official rule books made by Wizards of the Coast. And that's just scratching the surface of third-party content. There is so much out there made by creators in the D&D community. So go ahead and tell us your favorites in the comments. And then third, we have physical stuff. Wizards of the Coast sells many D&D accessories that are used while you're playing the game. There are spell cards, DM screens, dice, things like that. These products can be very helpful. Spellcasters definitely benefit from having spell cards on hand, and DMs often do need a DM screen. But just like with the books, you don't need to buy the official ones. There are often better ones you can find online made by independent creators. Etsy is a gold mine for stuff like that. But there are also plenty of ways and tutorials to make these things on your own if you're feeling crafty. Long story short, keep playing D&D if that's what you want to do. And keep spending money on D&D too if it makes you happy and if it makes your games more fun. But please just spend money in ways that help the D&D community rather than supporting the companies that are trying to prey on that very same community. And again, this is just scratching the surface. I'd love to hear your thoughts and recommendations in the comments. I will continue to do TTRPG content and I'm excited to possibly branch out in the new systems. What would you like to see from this channel moving forward? Let me know. In the meantime, thank you for watching and have a great day.